Okay, so this is going to be a uh, discussion about reference creation, uh, how to create your reference, things to keep in mind. Um, so I'm going to show you a few examples. I'll start off uh, with the beginner examples and I'll take a look a little bit about those and I'll make some points uh, that will hopefully be helpful to you guys. Okay, so this is the beginner going from one pose to the next two poses, taking one step. Um, one thing to obviously keep in mind when you're trying to create your performance for the camera is the staging. Okay, how is your body staged for the camera? All right, how is it being viewed by the audience or the camera or you when you're analyzing it and using it? Obviously, right? Um, so let's even take a look uh, at this first one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So this is really my first pose before I kind of move out of it. Um, when you're thinking about staging, thinking about three-quarter view, think about the point of view of the camera. If your camera is shooting straight into you from here, <clears throat> try and open up your legs uh, and open up your torso so that it invites kind of the camera in to see your pose pretty well. Um, you know, uh, you guys know about um, strong poses as far as silhouette and design and, and, and uh, line of action and stuff like that. Well, obviously keeping that in mind too and trying to make sure that your pose is open with an open silhouette uh, and staged for the camera is all part of what you're doing here. Uh, head here could be a little bit staged a little bit better, maybe a little bit more three-quarter, not so turned away. You don't want to look directly at the camera but and you don't want to look away from the camera, but always that three-quarter view if you're looking this way or looking that way. Um, to really kind of help open up that pose and showcase it for the camera. Um, next one, again, very good staging here. Boom, boom. Nice camera view. Uh, again, I could probably be a little bit more three quarter, you know, uh, but definitely good. Uh, <clears throat> but staging all around on that on those two poses. Uh, up here, though, my first pose. No, you know, I think it try and suggest what I'm trying to go for there but the staging could be a little clearer I don't there's you know you say well maybe you're sad and you're looking away um, and yeah that could be the case um, but we're kind of looking towards we're kind of pointed towards the camera why turn us away why not turn us a little bit more you know three-quarter down maybe that's a little bit too much this is a little clunky to draw with but <clears throat> But a slight hair of a of three quarter might help here. Also, like you know, why not open up that arm and drag it back here, and then even turn this one so we can see just a little bit more of that. So just maybe a little bit more turn of the upper torso. This is still pretty good. At least this foot is back here, which kind of is opening up to this. But I could definitely open up this pose a little bit more for the camera. Okay, uh, when I come forward though. I definitely open up that pose, so that works fairly well, right? Uh, another thing to keep in mind is give yourself some motivation. Um, you're trying to be an actor here, and you're trying to give a performance that's going to be helpful. So talk to yourself. Give yourself the motivation. Tell yourself to feel a certain way. Tell yourself to think certain things. Um, think about hitting your marks. Think about staging your camera while you're doing staging yourself for the camera, too. So it's a lot to figure out. But talk to yourself. That's why you're going to see, too, that <clears throat> I don't rush through this. I'm kind of standing there for a while before I turn around and take my step and look in the other direction because I'm telling myself things to think of. I'm telling myself what I should be feeling at that moment and what I'm going to feel and what I'm going to be, where, where I'm going to end up and how I'm going to be positioned too. So there's a lot I'm trying to tell myself in order to give something that's fairly clear, accurate, and useful, okay? And then there's obviously the fact that I need to feel natural about how I'm doing it too, okay? So it's a, it's a lot to try and to figure out, but give yourself some motivation. Um, you want to get yourself to push the poses um, and, and basically say something with the poses and say it with the poses. Don't rely on your facial expressions to say, to tell the story. Um, you don't have a face on your rig <clears throat> and your body needs to suggest it anyhow, okay? Intermediate, okay? So here's a couple examples of a, some intermediate attempts by myself. Um, so Another thing to consider is exaggerating. Um, you're, you're going to use exaggeration. It's one of the principles. Exaggerate your performance. And that's everything. Obviously, exaggerate your poses. Giving yourself that motivation I was just talking about. 
is going to help you exaggerate that pose, right? And it'll say more, and it'll be more dynamic, and it'll you know read much clearer. Um, so exaggerate your staging, exaggerate your pose, exaggerate your timing and the force and the movement and what you're moving in, all that stuff. Exaggerate, um, which is pretty clear in that top left one, right? Uh, another thing is don't rush your performance. Uh, all this stuff kind of overlaps, you know. Uh, I, that's what I was saying before. Get inside your head, tell yourself what you're doing, uh, and slow yourself down. Just don't do it. Think before you do it. Um, but also in your performance, too, stop yourself occasionally and don't rush things. Don't make everything kind of move at the same rate, too. If you actually rush your performance, everything will probably blur together and you won't see your anticipations and you won't see your up and your down poses and stuff like that. Uh, if you slow down a little bit, be a little more natural about it, exaggerate a little bit, too, and don't rush it, that stuff starts to amplify more and more. Okay, <clears throat> So don't rush your performance. Okay, so this is an advanced um, example, uh, going from four poses and taking three steps, okay? So, speaking of not rushing your performance, <coughs> excuse me, um, stop, no, really stop. Um, really, when you're stopping your character, don't just get in a pose that you're supposed to be holding for and then get into the next one. No, actually stop. You can even see me here really stopping. Uh, I kind of stop and settle in and hold and then I anticipate and go again. Okay, uh, And all this stuff will start feeling better and showing through if you get yourself again to pace yourself not to rush your performance uh, when you're stopping your character really get yourself to stop and settle down pause and then start again okay and that's the next step too after you stop you need to anticipate if you really get yourself to stop your movement completely and settle down then you know and again if you're talking to yourself if you're pacing yourself if you're thinking about your performance then you're going to feel that you do need to anticipate in order to move on to the next thing and you'll see it show up much clearer okay um, <clears throat> so it's a lot to think about Okay, but that's animation. It's, it's, it's a lot of ideas that you're trying to orchestrate together. And it's going to be the same thing with your performance. In order to get a good performance, there, there's a lot, of, a lot of this stuff is going to take quite a bit of, of practice and, and, and attempts to try and get to work. Okay, so types of steps. Um, break it up, okay? Especially if you're doing intermediate or advanced, you know, don't just take the same step over and over. Uh, think about something having kind of fun and doing something broader and then doing something more subtle. Uh, doing something very subtle or something really kind of just zippy or quick or very small. Uh, so get texture and variety into how your character moves. All the steps are going to require you know, the same basic thought pattern as far as mechanics. You're always going to anticipate. You're always going to have something that's going to move your foot over to get it into position, something like a passing pose, and then you're going to settle down and then settle back up maybe again as your weight comes down and settles up. Okay? Um, so break it up. <laughs> Just one step. So in this example, I was trying to do something a little quick and zippy and slide my foot over. Um, Zip. But if you look a little bit closer at it, it's actually pretty darn complicated. Um, you're going to see it's basically like a take and a jump and a zip and ba-doom. Uh, look at that right leg of mine. I take a step out. You can see me. It's like a nice little dance step, right? Um, so there's an anticipation and then a step and then a squash and then another step. And then even two, I put my foot down, and then I take another step and put it down again and land. So there's really one, two, three steps, okay, to get that to work. If I was trying to get that to work the way I'm seeing it here, that would be three steps, as opposed to just one step to go from there to there. Now, can you use reference like this and just turn it into one step? Sure. Just don't move your foot. You're going to actually anticipate up and then squash down. Just don't move your foot when you squash down. Okay? Um, you can have your foot come up on the heel and come back down, but don't move your foot. Just come down on it and shoot over and then take it over here. And once again, just 
basically keep your foot moving, slide it over. In this case, you could probably even finesse that, and that wouldn't really be considered a step. It's just more of a slow in, and then a contact, and then a down, and a settle up, okay? Um, but careful if you're moving your feet around. You're really looking to just move one at a time. Uh, later on, on your own or something, you can decide that you can move as many feet as you want, but for these projects, I'm going to ask you guys to stick with moving one foot at a time any way you want, but don't try not to overcomplicate it, okay? Um, so this is not easy. I, I guess all this is boiling down to to create good reference, useful reference, um, you're going to have to try, 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 and try again, okay? Um, and those are just, these are just some of the examples of me trying over and over again to get reference to show you guys uh, as a kind of a pathway to, to um, kind of thinking about it. So let's even like look at some of them. And I'll just even hit play. Uh, but you're going to see again me trying to give myself motivation. There I am being stupid. And, and telling myself I'm happy, right? And even looking at the camera, you know, and, and looking and thinking about how I'm being perceived by the camera. But that's me trying to motivate myself to say, what does happy feel like? What is it? Ah, happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. And then I'm thinking, about, okay, where am I going from happy? Oh, sad, all right? A uh, little clunky, but hey. Um, so let's see, what are we going next? Um, again, you see me trying to get an idea, okay, I'm afraid now, I'm afraid. And I'm thinking about staging. Look at me opening up my arms a little bit, rocking back, pushing my pose, exaggerating a little. Okay, you see that? Boom. And then I'm going to lurch forward here. Again, here you're going to see me probably think about, oh, I kind of want to be away from the camera, but I'm not staging my, and I really can't figure out where I went. my weight's supposed to be forward. So as you can see, I'm constantly and we didn't, yeah, that's another cut. I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's try this again. But it takes a while to get something that's usable. Um, so don't think that you're just going to do this once and you wind up with something good, okay? Uh, you're going to have to try over and over again. And that's the process. Um, you know, if you want good reference, if you want, obviously, if you're in it for the grades and you want a good grade, well, then you need very well staged, performed, uh, and analyzed reference, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. This isn't easy. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of done this stuff over and over again, and it takes a while to get something that's really helpful. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.